fact I like turtles. We got a new hood nature. Uh, why sh why you should avoid dead elephants, man? Here we go, baby. It's about to be a big old banger. If you can't see it like in always. Seconds, you're already dead. All right, Wait, what? Up? Oh, the hyena. I meant the hyena inside. Oh so shit! Realize that, that lions actually steal from hyenas more than hyenas do to them. And lions hate hyenas so much that males will chase them down, snap their spines to paralyze them, and then just leave them to die. And in return, hyenas turn any lion cubs they find into chalk outlines. Lions and hyenas are like a Mormon couple before marriage. They do not f with each other. Makes sense. So yeah, I mean, that's how the Lion King was. Seven male lions pulled up. He did the only thing you can really do. The hyena buried itself inside the dead elephant's rotting carcass of seven of its ops just inches away. And it hid there while the lions ate. And when the lions weren't looking, the hyena made a break for it as the lions chased him and made a break for his neck. Even though it was one on seven, the hyena managed to escape and hand the entire team an L. But w. That's nothing new. Here are some facts about lions. You're probably <laughs> Damn, okay. They have to the throw the shade at the lions. The of lions is during a storm, since lions are more likely to hunt when it's darker out. Lions are basically serial killers with night vision, and they know it gives them an advantage. So as ambush hunters, they'd much rather try to catch a body when they know they have the cover of darkness to hide under. On a similar note, man-eating lions are really, really, really rare. Man-eating lions? Most Hello? Turn you into a news article after a full moon because that's when they're typically at their hungriest. Because the light of the full moon eliminates their element of surprise, they experience a lower hunting success rate, which is why a lot of documented predatory attacks on humans took place after a full moon when they're at their most desperate. Lions are typically more selfish than tigers. Because where tigers in the wild are often more willing to share if two of them come across a meal, lions are much more cutthroat and will occasionally even snatch leftovers from cubs. Male lions Jesus. don't have manes, but sometimes females do. In 2016, researchers observed five lionesses that grew manes and started acting like males, even going as far as to start mounting other females. Bro, what? Frequently roar and mark their Hello? Are more associated with lions rather than lionesses. And the reason was believed to be because of hormonal defects causing excessive levels of testosterone in the females. Oftentimes, after a successful hunt, lions will leave the immediate area to give their prey a chance to let their guard down again, which increases their success rate for the next hunt. Researchers tracking African lions noticed that more than 80% of the time, the lions would travel more than 3 miles from the kill site. Basically, lions give their victims time to process and recover from the trauma just to give it to them again. Now that's tough. Here's the biggest lie you've been told about lions. The king of the jungle is really a queen. Because a lion pride is actually led by females, not the male. Lionesses are the ones that own a territory and will defend it together, while males typically leave after two to three years. Yeah, so males just like wander around, right? On leases. Sometimes yeah, exactly. Sometimes canceled along with the male. Because sometimes lionesses will gang up on elderly males and end both their time as leader and time on Earth. Bro, what? This male was jumped out by at least ten of his women with what had to be considered homicidal intent. So Bro. They did break it up with a fire extinguisher, but they were 100% going for blood. It doesn't get any better in zoos. In fact, sometimes it's worse. In 2018, a lioness named Zuri murdered the father of her three cubs, and zookeepers never really figured out why. Bro, what? When the Lion King had Nala put Simba on his back, they weren't too far off. Lionesses are all a sisterhood. They'll even get pregnant and give birth around the same time just so they can take turns babysitting each other's kids. Aww, so that's that actually hella cute. Sister, Come on, bro. We'll have to see them all. Moral of this video, turns out we've been spelling it wrong. It's actually Lion King, because Simba acting like he ran the show was nothing but cat. Did you know lions are kind of racist? Lions with darker what? manes are considered more attractive in lion society. It's because darker manes correlate to higher levels of testosterone and better overall health. Basically, lion being Makes sense. means Scar would have gotten more than he would know what to do with. And according to research done in South Africa, lions with black manes reportedly heal better from injuries and survive longer than lighter manes. Yeah, Damn, bro. But it also They're just better. Light manes lions get screwed. Actually, they don't, and that's the problem. Lighter manes are less attractive to females, meaning it nerfs their chances of having cubs of their own. And because higher testosterone makes better fighters, light manes are more likely to get bodied and vibe checked by darker manes. <coughs> but dark manes don't got it easy either. Long dark hair might attract more females, but it also attracts more heat to the lion. Which is why lions with black manes are more likely to have defective sperm. Remember, the reason most animals have their baby factory hanging outside is because too much heat can handicap you. So because nature's a sick joke, the same thing that helps the lion get laid can also be the same reason they can't have cubs. They can spread the seed, Damn, but there's a chance bro. nothing will grow. The more you know. Unfortunate. Monkey, that is. Get you murdered. This is the yellow bat. Jesus bird. Christ. The biggest sellout I really didn't need, need to know that though. Baboons make to warn others of danger. So if one baboon sees like a lion, it'll make the call and all the others will rush into the safety of the tree. Yeah, don't birds do that out, too? Other animals like the antelope and the kudu have actually figured out the baboon's alarm system. 
So whenever they hear it and see the monkeys climbing into the trees, they take that as a sign to peace out too. <laughs> now there's two problems with Makes this. Makes sense. The baboons know that the antelope rely on them to not get killed, but they also know that the safest line is one that's already been fed. So now these baboons will play lookout. But instead of warning the others when they see lions hunting, not only will they stay quiet, but sometimes they'll even leave the tree and wander on the ground like nothing's wrong. That makes the antelope think they're safe. That's how they end up on Mufasa's meal prep. And just to make it worse, sometimes Bruh. they actually sit and watch the animals that thought they can trust them fall into the trap and get hunted down. And as long as they keep sacrificing other animals, the baboons know the lions will come after them. It's like being a lookout but going mute when the police show up so you don't end up in cuffs. And since baboons historically hate big cats like lions and leopards, to the point where they'll kidnap and abort cubs because they're afraid of what they'll grow into. Bro, what? Hello? Moral of this video. We just skip right over that. We could have just called him a baboon from bush. Here's why this lion is terrified and you really, be too. It's being chased by a herd of Cape buffalo. They can weigh 1,300 pounds. They delete about 200 people a year. They're so homicidal, they've been nicknamed Black Death. They also travel in hoods of up to 200. I want you to remember. 200. And that's because Cape Buffalo are one of the very few animals that will actually. 200 of them? Oh my god! Responsive to retreat and hide in tall grasses or brush. If you're dumb enough to follow it, then 1,300 pounds of malicious intent will ambush you and knock you to the ground. Then they'll back up and then they just wait. Because if you manage to get back on your feet, then this black Air Force opera will charge and gore you again. And they'll keep this up until you just stop moving. So it gets really bad when you piss off a whole herd. Because then they'll form a circle around you and completely erase the option of escape. They'll keep you in that circle until one sees an opening and attempts to impale you. And the same rules apply. If you're still moving, then their job's not finished until you are. Which is why one of the most vicious animals you can hunt is an African cow from the trenches. Which is why it has another nickname. African cow the from the it's trenches. The way to get out of a marriage is to tell your husband to go hunt one in the morning because then you'll go to bed one human being Oh lighter, my god, run bruh. Sandwich. This man run. is Joe Exotic before Joe Exotic. This is Mr. Antoine Yates. And in 2001, Yates was 31, he was a construction worker, and he was the owner of an eight-week-old kitten that he kept in his Harlem housing project. Hello? As a kid, he was obsessed with animals. Sounds familiar. And when he was three, he got his first pet, which was a hamster. It only escalated from there. Fast forward to 2003, Harlem police were called to his apartment to follow up on a complaint. The complaint being that Yates had a six-foot pet alligator named Al that he kept in a tank. But when police used the- In a tank? In his apartment, this is what they saw. Hello? A full tiger, bruh? The eight-week-old kitten was actually a Bengal tiger cub that grew into a 450-pound assault weapon. His name was Ming, by the way. Antoine bought him from an animal park and was feeding him with raw chicken that he bought from a supermarket. And people didn't even start finding out about it until Yates went to a hospital with bite and claw marks and tried to say his pet pit bull did it. Here's where the story gets... interesting. Apparently, Antoine had roommates in his five-bedroom apartment that at first didn't know they were also rooming with a whole tiger. Bro, what? But eventually got used to having her life in danger every time she came home from work. When Yates eventually got busted, his mom got charged as well. Why? Well, it turns out she had been babysitting in the apartment at the same time that Shere Khan was still a tenant. And when his neighbors were questioned, they said he had had bear cubs, rabbits, monkeys, hyenas, snakes, one llama. Weird that he only had one. And even a lion cub. A llama? started with a f***ing hamster. Llama! <laughs> and sent to Noah's Lost Ark in Ohio. Damn. Where he lived until 2019. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. State of New York for the loss of his pets, only for a judge to curse him out of court. Nice. Of the story, w. No matter what Florida does, New York is never too far behind. Okay, we're gonna do this okay. one last time, and then I'm gonna speak about this again. The Black Panther, not an animal. Like, it ain't real. Because Panther can be any one of these right here. Because the word Panther refers to Panthera, which is a starting lineup of cats that includes lions, tigers, jaguars, leopards, and snow leopards. We good so far? So technically, okay. any one of these cats can be called a panther. Now, black panther is just a word for any one of these cats that has a mutation that causes melanism. But it only affects two of them. So when you say black panther, you're really just talking about a dark-skinned leopard or jaguar. And it's probably a jaguar. Because the gene that causes these w. cats is dominant in jaguars, but recessive in leopards. But technically, if a lion, tiger, or snow leopard got this mutation and came out black, we would be able to call them black panthers too. Because I already know I'm finna get that one smart-ass comment. Yes, some people call this a panther. But mountain lions aren't part of the panther genus. In fact, they don't even qualify as big cats. Cougars are actually closer to your pet cat than they are to lions or tigers. So yeah, what you call a black panther is really just- Monka ass! Cougars are fucking- enough, that even though they're black, it's Bro, we have cougars where I live. They're fucking monka ass, bro. You're close enough to see that. You're probably gonna see nothing but black next. So I'm actually glad you said that, because fun fact, pink panthers do exist. This leopard has a super rare mutation that causes the coat to appear strawberry flavored. Instead no shot! That is awesome. Rule, if it's any one of these cats, it can be called a panther. 
Now this Pink Panther has a mutation called Aerithism. And because it's so rare, we don't really know that much about it, but it's believed that it causes the body to produce extra red or pink pigments. This also happens in animals like raccoons and coyotes. Look at that Before pink raccoon! His life literally depends That's on so cute. Ride. It's even rare, and he's right there, by the way. Oh, oh mutation, my fucking like god, tree. bro. I was like, why? I was like, why is he showing me a tree? I'm like, what? Oh, look at this tree. Why is he showing me a tree, though? This motherfucker is right there. He's right there, by the way. Oh, it doesn't really look pink, but it's like a pinkish hue. But since leopards <laughs> qualify as panthers, that's your pink panther right there. Nice, also, w. white panthers, too. Not like a colonizer's response to Wakanda, but like an actual cat. This lion has a mutation called leucism, which causes partial pigment loss. Not to be confused with being albino, which is total pigment loss. And one last time, because y'all keep making me say it, since they're one of these cats, you can call this a white panther and be factually correct. And then you have this white cougar that was found in a national park in Brazil in 2013. Bro, when look at rare, that it thing. It was reported eight years ago and never seen again. But mountain lions aren't part of the panther genus, so they have to sit at the little cat lunch table with cheetahs, ocelots, bobcats, and even pet cats. The more you know. The Listen, little you know cat. He said black. the little cat. Yeah, 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 polar bear black skin got it. Hey, go follow that guy. He's pretty cool. But listen, did you know that lions will roar as a pride to mark their territory? And these roars can last up to 40 seconds and travel for 5 miles. And since they do it together, cubs will try to join in even when they aren't old enough to roar yet. And it sounds That's cute. Like this. Oh my god. You kind of have to have a good day after seeing that. Yeah. How is that not the cutest thing ever, man? Oh my god. Yo, make sure to go subscribe to fucking Casual Geographic, yeah? God damn, man. That is just wholesome and, and perfect, man. Just perfect.